This month's Rocks Box is extra special. We've really pulled out all the stops for you. We actually managed to track down the original source vein for pet rocks. So pet rocks, also known as Saxulum familiaris, are a domesticated species, and we've been happily sharing our homes with them for decades. However, due to some shoddy record keeping and some businessy subterfuge, the original pet rock source vein was kind of a mystery until recently. But we have found it. And it's actually not too far from our studios here in Missoula. So what we're bringing to all of our Roxbox subscribers is individuals from the actual original wild dwelling population of Saxulum petrum, which is really exciting. Now, because they're not domesticated, they can be pretty skittish when you're first getting to know them. Let them get to know your scent a little bit before you try to handle them too much. Ah! As a side note, make sure you don't house your new pet rock with any domesticated pet rocks just yet, at least until they quarantine for a while. And you want to be very intentional about letting males and females share on enclosure, since even though they are separate species, you don't want to end up with just a bunch of pebbles running around. Now, in order to help your new buddy acclimate to its home, you're going to want to help it make a nice, comfy nest. And we got a few options for you based on their preferred home environment. You can make it a little moss bed, like this one that I've got here. They also really like to burrow in the sand, so try to include a little sandy corner. And while they don't have any natural predators, they do like to have the option of sunny or shady environments. So if you can, give them something leafy to spend some time under if they want to get out of the light. These are just a few tips to help your new friend acclimate to your home, but every rock is different. Spend the time to get to know their likes and dislikes, and you'll have a friend for life. Or maybe longer than life. They are rocks. We don't know exactly what their lifespan is, but it might be forever. I think we're all on the same page here, but this is an April Fool's joke. However, you can play along at home because we have made a pet rock sticker set that's available at the SciShow merch store. You'll get a whole bunch of little accessories to make your pet rock your own, and then you can take pictures of it and send them to us, and we will share them in every way we can imagine doing that. Check back here tomorrow for our actual Rocksbox video, because it's going to be big.